this week we're in Brighton and Hove, which has been voted the happiest place in the UK. I wonder why. Brighton's just, it's, it's filled with eccentrics, it's filled with characters, it's filled with people doing things. I love the pubs, the food is amazing. Everywhere you go, everyone's smiling, like, you'll literally go into a coffee shop and you'll meet a friend and then you know, they'll, like, plait your hair. Anything can happen in Brighton. I've been down Brighton and seen naked people cycling by. Blimey! And hoping he's got the bare necessities to win this week is first host, Adam. By day, I'm a medical editor. And then by night, I am a musician, a performer, uh, a rapper, hobbling from my rocket ship, tossing obelisks at monoliths. I'm swapping skin like Mokujin, spend a lot of it not even bothering. I hear you, buddy. A lot of people are surprised when I tell them I'm a rapper. I couldn't possibly think why. First impressions-wise, people don't always get it, but then, you know, within about an hour, most people are on side, and those who aren't have run quite a considerable distance away. Let's get on to the cooking, shall we? Tell you what, throw us down some lyrics to get started. This food's going to be about entertaining the guests I'm inviting, having them digesting these nice things and eating veggie food that's dead exciting. Time for the starter. Kenyan chapatis with a selection of dips. Now, that sounds right up my street. Love a chapati. I know very little, in fact, nothing about Kenyan food at all, so this will be very exciting for me. Kenyan chapati is very much like uh, your standard Indian chapati, only from Kenya. Really? Well, fancy that. To make the dough, Adam adds water to flour and mixes well. Nothing can really go wrong with this course. I actually, you know, I could make these in my sleep, really. Ooh, imagine the mess. It shouldn't just be sticking to my hands like this. Oh, good Lord. How has anyone ever made bread? I've done this lots of times before, just not this badly. In goes oil. Will that help? But this is how it's meant to look. Are you sure? I don't know if that's how it's meant to sound. Oh, dear. Maybe another impromptu rap will help. Yeah, you know, it's me and I have the flow. This is how I currently get my hands on dough. Yeah, I've put all of the oil in. My whole main course is something I'm currently spoiling. Yeah, except that's your starter. It's not that hard to make a chapati. You've got to cook them right, though, but, you know, it's a quick process. I'm sure they'll nail that. It's simpler than what I would do. I don't think Adam's finding it very simple. Well, that flour didn't work, in it? No. Be a bit more gentle. Is I was getting stuck to the table now. This is just... Come on, fella, you can do this. <sighs> Let's try this on a sensible surface. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. This is going disastrously. I was going to do some really beautiful, arty, swirly jobs. They're just getting Kenyan dollops instead. I think this might be the worst day of my life. I'm going to move this to another part of the kitchen so I can have a fresh attempt at flouring a surface. This is just not even close to the shape it's meant to be. Or the consistency, or the texture. Probably not the flavour either. One down, only nine to go. It doesn't sound like there's a lot of skill or, or prep work that's, that, that's gone into it necessarily. You don't know the half of it. So they look authentic. Do they? I'm going to go compensate with some dips. Oh, steady on. Hummus and tapenade thrown together. It's night one in Brighton and Hove, where first host Adam is hoping his meatless menu will win him the £1,000 prize. Cheers! Cheers. I'm going to go make you guys a starter. I'll see you later. Oh, thank see you, you so much. Mm. I'm feeling great about the chapatis because it sets a really low bar to hurdle for the rest of the meals. I'm going to stop doing this to look cool, because I don't. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. I was on the brink of despair and I brought it back. It's presented horribly, it tastes a bit better than it looks, and it smells a bit better than it tastes. Every cloud! I am astonished and really proud that I actually have a starter. And so am I. The starter is Kenyan chapatis with a selection of dips. Well, two. Ladies first. Oh, lovely. Thank, Thank you. you very much. This looks nice. 
tapenade mm. on its own would be overpowering. The hummus with it gives it a really nice flavour. That's not what a chapati should be. <laughs> a chapati should be quite flaky. They're a little bit um, dense in the middle, sort of a little bit doughy, um, maybe slightly underdone. I think there wasn't enough bread. I thought it looked really unattractive, very basic. There wasn't a lot of work, but tasted OK. Are you a vegetarian? Uh, I'm a flexitarian, uh, which means that I do eat meat sometimes. The reason I sort of have made a vegetarian menu is just to show that there's other options that will fill you up. I mean, a flexitarian, I mean, that's just someone who can't make their mind up. It's, it, it's, it's not a real thing, is it? Would you have preferred not. meat? Yeah, I do sort of always look at something and think there needs to be fish or meat in whatever I eat, whether it's a starter or a main. And he almost treated it like it was rude that I didn't give him any meat. It's, it's bread and dips. People get used to what they're used to. Right, they used to having meat, they used to having fish, and then it's nice to... I mean, you might not like it. I do like my meat and I do yeah. like my fish. If, if you came to my house, I would cook you vegetarian, mm. um, because I know you're a vegetarian, but whenever someone's a vegetarian and you go to their house, they give you vegetarian, when yeah. they know that you're a meat eater or a fish eater. He's a big boy and he should learn to suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Accept what's in front of him and try and open, open his mind, open his horizons. Russ is obviously, he says what he thinks. I personally don't agree. I think that you can have a really lovely meal that's not necessarily with any animal protein. They ate it? So that's awesome. I was not anticipating that. Not even slightly. I was distraught after this morning. Blagged! As long as you're happy. <laughs>